I'm keen to show you what a typical day looks like for me as an open source digital nomad DevRel. At the moment, home is Bali. First thing in the morning, I like to catch up with notifications on Twitter and GitHub and emails. The reason why is at the end of the day, because of time zones, I'll catch up again. Therefore, every kind of eight to 12 hours, I re-catch up with notifications so they don't build up. Sometimes notifications get lost if they get too, too many. So on Twitter, I might get like 2,000 a day. So they will easily, quickly get lost. And I can't scroll back as far. And I want to reply to all of you because you're all amazing people. You took time to reply to one of my tweets, so I want to reply to yours. I really appreciate it. And I always enjoy geeking out with you. I'm lucky enough to have plenty of space in my own studio, but sometimes it's good to have a change of scenery to get the creative juices flowing. So I love going to co-working spaces where I can get creative, but also meet and network other digital nomads in tech. If you'd like to see more about our digital nomad adventures, then check out our other YouTube channel, Eddie and Sarah Explore. As you know, I always say collaboration first, code second. And today I'm meeting up with fellow digital nomads, content creator Alexander Medjit and podcaster Louise Muli for lunch. recorded a short video with Alex. We're going to eat our food and then head back to ours to finish the recording and I'll show you a bit more behind the scenes back at our place. Let's do the test. This is the fastest ever opened coconut by Eddie. 30 seconds. <laughs> Is it good? Did I do it right? Is there any liquid in there? What? It's coca-licious. So we're going to go record a video with Alex for his YouTube channel. So don't forget, go check it out. There's a link in the description below. Let's just finish our coconuts first, and then we'll go record in the studio. But could you just like quickly explain to us like one more time, like how did you actually get there? So did you, you were first, you were first in IT, you were a consultant, freelance consultant, right? But like, how did you find then the time to also become a content creator, just that journey? Okay, super cool. So it means you're really engaged with the community, but who is your community? Who's your audience? Who are these people that follow you and are so interested in you? The majority of people that follow me are in tech or wanting to get into tech. And the people who are, say, have more years experience in tech, they want to break away from the corporate life of nine to five, that whole rat race, right? They want to still be in tech, but they want to do it from anywhere in the world. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Open source is my passion. I really believe that open source is for everyone and getting into open source will advance your skills and career. This will allow you to get the work and clients and the lifestyle that you want. But it's also important to have a work-life balance, go into the gym, spend time with your loved ones and take rest. Because tomorrow the funnel starts again.